Hello everyone, it's me once again. So we have the Kumi ANC 860 this time to review. Um, as you know, I made a video regards to the TWS 834A. Now this one had a unique function of wireless uh, charging, which I do like, it's, it's quite cool. Um, but the downside of it is that it didn't have that proper fitting of the ear wireless. This one is a new model of Kumi and it seems to have different types of ear fittings and uh, has a better battery life as well. It could go up to 41 hours while as this is known to have up to 32 hours and it depends on what sort of settings you have. I mean this one for example the uniqueness of it is that it has the transparency mode and the hybrid active noise cancellation and the environment noise cancellation as well. So that will vary on which settings you put on uh, to de determine how long the battery will last. Now the good thing about Kumi product is that it has this its own EQ adjustment system as well which is really cool and um, this is a brand new model apparently and I know a few YouTubers have already made a review but what I'll try to make unique on uh, my video is to compare it with their previous model uh, which looks very similar as well. So let's get into the unboxing so here it goes. Pretty much the same as the same packages as the previous model. Slide it out. So moment of truth. Nice. Rounded. Still has that um, leathery strap and the accessories. So wow, there are plenty of <laughs> ear slots in there and also the standard USB-C charging cable and um, yeah the promo card you can see pause and have a look and 40% uh, off card as usual and the instruction manual as usual which I'm sure you could pause and have a look Pretty much the same as the previous model, I would say, by the looks of it. And lastly, user guide. So anything that you can go through here. All right. So what we have here is the um, latest uh, model of ANC 880 connected to my Samsung uh, Galaxy S20 Ultra and the previous model of um, TWS 834A connected to my uh, Pixel phone. So I'm going to play the same music track at simultaneously um, which is called The Happy Life by Fred G uh, which is a free copyright and uh, I'll see how the sound compares. So here it goes. So this is noise cancelling mode. I can see that immediately there's a bit of block sound here. There's a bit more sharpness for this model, uh, the previous model. Uh, so the ambient sound. Well, the beats, there's a strong beat. I love it. I mean, don't get me wrong, this is still good with the sharpness. I think possibly because of the beats, the sharpness is better slightly on this one, or maybe same, um, but okay. I'm actually trying on the ANC mode, which is sound is like a broad sound with a really good bass sound. And I, when I speak, I can see that uh, this is actually more blocked off, while as more open to the public kind of sound. Sharpness is almost the same. But this feels more sharper because it just hasn't got the beats on it. But this one is like a heavy, strong beat. I thought this was really good, but this is even better. Amazing. So when I go to the normal mode, they sound similar, but still a bit more blocked sound in here, which is good. I like that. I just don't want to be involved with the surrounding sounds. So I just want to completely be shot off while um, 
this one is a bit more open and more yeah I mean clearly this is a previous model yeah so when you go to noise cancelling it gets a bit quieter for this new model the sharpness is the same but um, if we were to go to the maximum volume this one has a much stronger uh, volume actually that's that's very interesting so because this has more power on it this feels like much better sound it's clearly a difference this one is much better i, I can't believe it this is wow so this is big upgrade from the previous model and the ambient sound it's like it's beautiful it's like whoa like spreading out while as this one is just constant settled sound that's amazing i'm impressed so for this time i was not thinking of doing this one but um, on the left hand side i still have the anc a80 kumi device connected to my samsung on the right hand side i replace it with my uh, pixel buds 2 and i'm gonna play the adventures by uh, a him himitsu so let's get into the sound testing so here it goes yeah almost the same i can't believe it it's almost the same but the pixel but has this more well nutrition on it i don't think that's the professional word but it's a proper smooth beat and clearly defined you can almost feel the beats like drumming into your ear but this one oh it's almost the same it's very hard to distinguish yeah the beats is sharper on the pixel bus too but they're almost the same that's very interesting But this is still very good. <laughs> I, I didn't expect this result. Obviously, Pixel Bud is 179.99 uh, British pounds, and this is cheaper. So, wow, it's hard to distinguish. But if I have to be cynical about it, Pixel Buds win. The beats is sharper. It's like. But this is really good. It almost feels like you're wearing the same earbuds unless someone tells you or unless you know it. Obviously, there's a bit of a delay because, um, yeah, Bluetooth connection. This is 5.0 and this is 4 plus. Yeah, the sharpness as well, they're almost the same. But when it comes to beats, my final thoughts are that uh, it's sharper right in your face for Pixel Buds 2. That's my final conclusion. Interesting. So for the final thoughts on it is that comparing to the previous model, uh, the ANC-860 is a huge uh, jump regards to the sound quality. The beats is beautiful. Uh, the only thing is that when it comes to that critical analysis comparing to Pixel Buds, uh, the, there's a bit more sharpness onto the Pixel Buds 2. Uh, so price-wise, we know that this is about 60 uh, US dollars and this is about 180. So um, it's pretty much third of the price of Pixel Buds 2. We know Pixel Buds 2 is a, is a really good quality earbuds and it's a, it's a Google product. And we, we actually consider Google to be much cheaper than Apple. But when it comes to the sound quality, Kumi has done a really good job. I was rather surprised by this. Um, uh, the material itself, well, it's still the similar, slightly more upgrade onto it, but the plastic overall, what they use is that when you actually touch it, you know it's Kumi's, but the lid itself, it's still a bit wobbly. I know there's a magnetic joint in the end, but a bit wobbly on that one. And the leather strip, well, some people might like it, some people don't. I actually like it, you know, I'd rather actually have it, have it rather than not having it. But overall, again, um, well done Kumi for doing the upgrades. I guess 
um, if you if someone wants to have a you know rather good price competitive price with a good sound quality almost leveling up with the pixel buds this is exactly what you should get so um i hope you guys uh like this uh, video sound review of each earbuds but if you have any queries please do comment below and thank you so much uh for my um kumi to let me uh review their product as well anyway thank you all the best this is lgb tech bye bye